Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ali. Today, <laughs> what? I have the most massive unboxing review haul I think I have ever done here on my channel. I have something like 10, 11, maybe like 12 boxes and bags even. If you guys are new here, once a month, I do a little monthly roundup for all of my subscription boxes, whether I bought them or they were sent to me for reviewing purposes. And I unbox them and review them in one epic video. I'm going to try to keep this intro rather short because I know that this video is going to be a lengthy one, probably looking at like a 60 minute video here. So I will just say this, these videos can get pretty lengthy and I know that not everybody is here for every single box. Maybe there's a one box that you want to see over another. Maybe there's a couple boxes. Maybe there's the whole entire roundup. So I'm just going to link all the information for all of these companies in the description below. I'll put all of their socials, websites. I will say whether I purchased the box, if it was sent to me for reviewing purposes, if I have any coupon codes, if I have any affiliate links, etc etc of course after watching this video if you have any questions or concerns make sure to ask them in the comments below and if there's any box out there that you would like to see me unboxing in september's roundup or october's even just let me know write it down in the comments and i will try to reach out to that company there are so many boxes here i usually just go in any random little order but i do always start with my disney boxes so i'm going to do just that right now let's get on into it I forgot to also mention this, but this is probably the most important part of checking out the description. I will have timestamps for every single one of these boxes when they start, when they end. So make sure to check out the description if you are here again for one box over another. The first box that we're going to be starting off with is a Disney box. I actually have two Disney subscription services this month around. I have another one coming for September. So if you are here for Disney content, get yourselves ready. I am so excited. The very first one is called the Diz Box. Here's what the box looks like. It is very cute. I love the little Lotso ball. It's very adorable. So if I remember correctly, I think this is more of like a handmade Disney subscription service. So I don't think you're going to be getting like licensed items from Disney. You're getting more like small shop slash handmade items. It looks really cute. This is what it looks like when you open it up. They are at hashtag the Disbox and at the Disbox. They have Facebook and Instagram and it says for Disney people by Disney people. So yes, this should be more like homemade, handcrafted Disney items. The very first thing that I'm seeing inside of the box is a candle and your girl loves candles. This is C&E Craft Co. Magic Kingdom All Natural Soy Candle. Look at how beautiful this candle is. I love the design. It looks like you are walking right down Main Street, USA. Let's give it a little. Ooh, it smells like the bakery. It has like a very vanilla scent to it. And this is what the inside looks like. It is a single wick candle. Ooh, great way to start this video off. The next thing that I am pulling out is by kingdombath.com. It is the scent Polynesian. I'm assuming that this is a bath bomb and I am assuming correctly. So we're getting a little, I don't want to say a little one. This is a huge bath bomb, a pink bath bomb and it is in the scent Polynesian. I'll try to, oh, you can smell it right through the cellophane wrapping. I don't know what I would like compare that to. Oh, it smells really, really good. It smells very tropical, so that makes sense for the Polynesian. And look at the size of this. This is definitely one that you could like smash and use multiple times rather than just using one time. This is a huge bath bomb. All right, a couple more items in here. The next one is a pair of Minnie Mouse ears. They're super dainty. They're really like tiny ones, like skinnier ones, which if that is your style, these are perfect. They look very well made. And I love that sequin look. It is so sparkly. Look at how cute. Oh, I like that a lot. It doesn't say like the brand. All the other ones have like the name. So I'm not 100% sure like what small shop made this, but they're super, super cute. And if I can find the name in here, I will try to link it. All right, next up we are getting a pin. Guys, <laughs> me and pins, you know this. I think this is from specifically the Diz box and it is one that says Pisces and has Ariel on it. So I guess they make like their own pins. Not 100% sure about that, but super cute pin. I love this the most. I don't even know what this is. It is by Mickey's Suds and Scrubs. It's a Mickey Waffle Soap Bar. Mickey Waffle Soap Bar. Like, are you flipping kidding me? Look at how cute. 
I think what I'm getting out of this the most is that I want this mold. <laughs> like, where did they find a Mickey waffle silicone mold to make soap? Because sign your girl up, I want that right now. Oh, and it smells like maple syrup. Oh, this smells just like maple syrup, I love. All right, looks like there are two items left. I'm gonna save this one for last. This is a Call Cali and Me Boutique. It looks like you can get 5% off. So it just looks like, it looks like tickets, like the old school vintage tickets to get into Disneyland. And there's a bunch of like little coupons. So maybe they partnered up with a couple of these companies, but we have a 5% off. We have Sweet Soap Treat. Oh, it must be all the companies, duh, that they are working with. If you want to shop their site, they're giving you some coupon codes as well. The final item, I think it's one that says home and has the castle as the O. Let's see. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it says park hop till you drop. So we're getting ourselves a little t-shirt. This is a nice little oversized t-shirt. Oh, this is so cute. I love this as a castle, the Epcot ball. We have the tree of life. And then we also have the Hollywood Studios Mickey Mouse. So that is everything inside of the Diz box. Again, if you guys are interested in this box, check out the description, but that was so much fun. I really like how they are like showcasing all of these small shops and people who make like handcrafted homemade Disney Disney items because I'm a huge DIY person myself and I love that we're like shedding some light on the inspirational portion of Disney. Disney box number two. This just might be the largest Disney box I have ever received, unboxed, reviewed, owned in my entire life. This is from a company called Mickey Wu. I believe it is a new company. I think I reached out to them or they reached out to me i don't quite remember but they did send me this box for reviewing purposes i think it's one of the biggest boxes that they offer on their website i feel like i have so many talking points about this company but as a way to not make this video seven hours long as opposed to just one hour long i'm not going to do a lot of the talking points in the intro portion of each one of these boxes i again just encourage you to check out the description go to their website and do some research on their company if you are interested in what you see right now the first thing that i am pulling out is a little postcard it says ally we are so excited you are trying the mickey loot box the items in one of the golden bags comes from the hollywood brown derby from hollywood studios we hope that you love everything love mickey loot Look at how cute that is. A little Sailor Fab Five into that. So I'm just gonna open that up. Okay, so first thing I should tell you, everything is individually packed. Holy Lord. Let's start off with the one that is not individually packed. And yes, I am from Rhode Island, which is the ocean state. So we are definitely privy to some saltwater taffy. The first thing that we are getting is the Disney Parks Taffy Assorted Flavors. Look at that. This just reminds me so much of like being a child and going to like the boardwalk in Rhode Island and just going to all sorts of like different like oceany type places in Rhode Island and they just have taffy literally everywhere. And what is better than Rhode Island taffy? Disney taffy. Slap the Disney name on anything and it's instantly better. So the first thing that we are getting is salt water taffy. All right, I don't know where to begin. We are getting a button set of three ham buzz worthy and don't worry about me i'm flexible this is from the disney parks and they are clearly toy story themed i should also mention that this is a fully customizable service so they will send you a little like questionnaire to fill out and you do all your wants your needs your likes your dislikes etc and you can also like suggest things that you'd like to see inside of your box next up <laughs> the, oh my god it's like a little barrette and it is woody's sheriff hat as a barrette are you stinking kidding me look at how cute this is as most of you guys know i did just declutter the items that kind of like really spark joy to me and speak to my soul i will be keeping but the other ones i'm going to save up and make like a really epic disney box to do a giveaway on my instagram so stay tuned to that if you are not following me on instagram and you're interested just make sure to give me a follow if you are interested and i'll be doing that within the next month oh my I don't, is this like a theme? I think this is like a themed box. Everything seems to be Toy Story so far. The next thing that we are getting is Toy Story 2 Shufflers. This is Al, the little villain, and he's dressed up as a chicken. Look how cute. I've never even heard of this before. They have Emperor Zerg, Jesse, Bullseye, Stinky Pete the Prospector. How cute. Okay, I love this. I think that this might be like a themed box. I could be wrong. 
but yeah i'm thinking it's a themed box i think it's a themed toy story box next thing we run things the sheep from bo peep a little pink hat how stinking cute i did mention that toy story is my favorite disney pixar movie and as some of you guys may know we decorated our entire son's nursery to be toy story themed so <laughs> really excited right now i do already have this we bought this for landon's nursery this is a buttercup it is the little unicorn it says toy story 4 on it but she's from toy story 3 so i don't know why it says toy story 4 but next thing is buttercup these are all like disney license items all right so here's a little golden bag what is what is this are these like ice cubes that light up you know if you go to disney sometimes and you go to some of like the specialty restaurants they have like the ice cubes that light up i got some of these on my bachelorette party are you supposed to like oh. i don't know if you can see that because it's so bright in here but these light up these must be from hollywood and brown because if you look closely it has that like old derby hat look how fun what a cute little extra all right, let's see what's next inside this golden bag. There's so much stuff in this box. I was contemplating doing this video. I meant doing this box in a separate video because it was just so much stuff. All right, so maybe it's not a themed box because this is not Toy Story themed. It is just Disney themed. So it says the happiest place on earth and it has not Cinderella's castle, but Aurora's castle from Disneyland which I've never been to and it is a absolute goal dream on the bucket list to be able to make it there eventually the place where it all began with Walt himself but yeah I was saying I was going to do this in its own separate video but I was like no let's just keep it all together I need a moment I'm sorry I am keeping this item I'm not putting this in the giveaway this is something that I've wanted for so long if you guys have been following me on Instagram for a while I always call Adam my Carl to my Ellie because one of our favorite favorite movies after Toy Story is up and I'm getting the grape soda pin purse it's like a little what's this called crossbody no it's not a, is it a crossbody yeah, there are like little, what's it called, inside that you can crossbody it over or you could just hold it. Look at this little bit. What even? This is $75. $75 stinking dollars. Oh, okay. That one is kept. It's kept by me. It'll be kept by me. Can't even speak because I am so excited right now. Okay, next up, I'm getting, I'm assuming, a mug. Yes, a mug. And it says, ooh, super simple. <gasps> Haunted Mansion. I did mention that Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride of ever. This says Disneyland Resort 50th anniversary for the Haunted Mansion. It is black, but if you look super close on the back, it's kind of like embedded with the wallpaper, like that purple wallpaper design and style. That is what it looks like on the back. Oh, the inside says it's good to be a swinging wake. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Wait, there's more. So we are getting ourselves a little blanket. I did open this one up before in a previous Disney unboxing. It is so soft. It has all of the princesses' names all over it and then like little emblems that represent each princess. And it's so soft and so cozy. I actually gave this one away in a previous giveaway or in one of my boxes that I was selling. So I will not open this one up and add this one to the future giveaway. Stay tuned for that. There's still so much more in here. Next up, we are getting Happy Halloween Walt Disney World. This is one of those like reusable tumblers that you can get if you stay on property and then you pay like X amount of dollars for it and you can refill it throughout like your entire trip. And this one's Halloween themed. Cute, I am loving this. I think there's four more items left. This one's a skinny one. It is a oh, earrings for November. I did say my birthday was in November. So this is so cute. I think I'm going to put these in my second holes. It says November. So it's kind of themed according to like your horoscope or your zodiac sign. And my birthstone is that like really ugly throw up looking topaz color, which I've grown to like a lot more. I hated it as a child and now I really actually enjoy it. I feel like it's a beautiful color, but as a child, I hated it. Now I kind of like it. Fun fact about me. All right, third to last item. They do not mess around with the subscription service. It says Disney Princess. I don't have a clue what this could be. I don't know if my 
camera is focusing as well as I would like it to. <gasps> oh, this is super dainty. So it is a little necklace and earring combo and it has the carriage as well as the glass slipper. So earrings and then this is either a necklace or a bracelet. And this is $24.99 in the park. Two more items left. The second to last item is Oh cute little magnets. Oh, I love this like the Disney Eat section. So we have like spatulas and we have a little frying pan. How cute is that? I like that. It's like a nice little added extra. I lied. There's still two more items still in here and my camera's about to die. Can I make it in time? The sweet life. Oh, this is perfect for teaching. I'm gonna try to not use it so I can keep it for the giveaway. But so cute. Maybe I'll bring this into my classroom. It says the sweet Hi, hello. Okay, I knew I was not going to make it before my camera died. I'm just too excited, guys. Like I was saying, this is really cute for teaching. It has a bunch of like Disney themed postcards, and then it has a little area where you can write notes in a cute little gel pink pen on the fence on if I will keep this one for my classroom. I feel like this is a really fun way to add a little pop of Disney into my classroom, and my students love when I give them like little Disney postcards for the notes, or if I'll add this into the giveaway. All right, last and final item for real this time inside of this box is garland how cute is this disney frozen garland olaf's frozen adventure this would be super cute to put on top of like a fireplace mantle or just to use obviously all year round or specifically for christmas time or for like the winter time so <laughs> I mean, I don't think I need to say it, but love this box for me. This was incredible. So glad that I either reached out to them or they reached out to me because that was an epic box if I've ever seen one before. We're going to be shifting gears now. Those are the two Disney boxes that I received for August 2020. I do have another one coming for September that should be pretty stinking amazing as well. So stay tuned for that one. We're now going to move on into the book box that I get for Landon. This is called Lily Post. I've talked about this a ton on my channel. I'm obsessed with this subscription service. They will send you books right to your doorstep every single month for your little. And it depends on how old your child is, whether you want to do a board book box, whether you want to do a picture book box, or a little combination of both we do the board book box for Landon because he's only he's just about 16 months old so board books seem to be the best for him as always they have their little contests at the beginning of the month or that they run for the whole month and if you participate in that contest you usually have to like decorate your box whatever theme they are making it this month is at the beach so if you decorate it to be like at the beach themed then you can win like all sorts of prizes if your box is chosen so let's get on into the books that i'm getting for landon the first one is touch and feel animal babies landon loves touch and feel books we actually have this exact same book in the nursery rhymes edition and he loves it so so if you open it up it's just a bunch of information about the animals and they're all little touch and feel pages love that next is planes trains and animobiles how stinking cute landon is definitely at the age right now where he loves all things that are mobile or all things that kind of like move anytime we go outside and he hears a plane he gets so excited so this is adorable it's talking about like all different modes of transportation and it's super super colorful i love this subscription service so much as a mom i think this is my favorite mom box of ever this and love every my two absolute favorites Woo! <laughs> the next one is slide and find nursery rhymes what was i just saying about nursery rhymes we love them we sing them all the time so these are all different nursery rhymes and it looks like you can like move the pages around how cute Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed to see, such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. I love that, cute, cute, cute. Another thing that toddlers love, singing nursery rhymes on repeat. You finish a nursery rhyme, more. You finish it again, more. You finish it again, more. You finish it for the hundredth time, more. <laughs> on repeat over and over and over and over and over and over and over again so love that for me next up and last up is who's that dog 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 that's how he says dog now oh my god i love this this is a great box so it is a story all about a little dog i love their little storybooks we've received so many 
adorable storybooks from them. I consider these more like informational books because it kind of just like talks to you about the trucks and the animals, etc. When we get like an actual storybook with a storyline, they're so cute. So this is the last book that I got for August 2020. Highly recommend this subscription service. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's just, it's fun for everyone. I know this next one is not going to appeal to everyone, so I cannot stress this enough. Make sure to check the timestamp in the description below so you can just skip over this one if you are not interested. This one is definitely going to appeal more to like mamas, mamas to be, people who like baby clothes. This is not a subscription at all, but I did kind of go a little crazy and I bought Landon a bunch of fall themed clothing. As you guys know, fall is my favorite and autumn is my aesthetic and I saw all of these clothes at Carter's and at Target and I wanted to share them with you. Again, totally know this is not going to appeal to everyone but it appeals to me and I really wanted to share them with you. I'll do it like super super quick and if I have any links for any of these clothing items that I can find like if they're still available on the site I will link them in the description speaks for itself guys little mickey mouse sweater for toddlers i want this in my size we are obsessed with like little graphic tees for landon we found this like little rolling stones one and guys i'm such a poser i couldn't even name like five rolling stones songs i will be completely honest with you full transparency it's just super cute and i can see him wearing this with like little camel pants <laughs> so cute okay so those aren't necessarily fall these are the fall ones this is from carter's are you kidding me? Like, are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with a little butt? With the jack-o'-lanterns on the butt and the cats? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fun fact about this one, they actually offer this for adult sizes and I'm ordering me and Adam one so we can take a cute little fall themed photo with Landon. This is like the mommy and me, daddy and me collection so you can order it for your child but then they also have sizes for infants, they have sizes for newborns, they have sizes for adults, they have sizes for like kids, teens and then they also have sizes for dogs so you can do like a full family photo. I got this one and then they also offer this one online. I'll probably just get the pumpkin one for the family, but I got this one for Landon because guys, Halloween is my favorite holiday. I'm so excited and this is so fun and I'll have him wear this like all year round. All right, next up is from Target. Is this not a pumpkin patch outfit if I have ever seen one before? This is the outfit that I will have Landon wear when we go to the pumpkin patch and pick out our pumpkins for the season. Look at how cute the little suspenders and the stripes and the corduroy. My mommy heart is exploding, especially when I look at this next outfit, my mommy heart really explodes. Look at this outfit. It says dreams come true, but look at the shorts. Look just boys clothes have like really stepped it up i remember when i first had landon everyone's like oh boys clothes are so boring no boys clothes are so cute in 2020 and even in 2019 and i'm sure before but they just keep getting better and better this is another pumpkin patch outfit this is from target does this not look like a boutique outfit i saw this and i was like there's no way that this is target it is target it is from i think cat and jack yeah, Cat and Jack Baby. They have the cutest clothes. This looks like a little boutique outfit and it was only $12.99. It has little pockets on the side, has like little button up. The quality is amazing and it's from Target. I look at a bunch of like boutique stores. I personally just can't justify spending the price of boutique stores right now for Landon because an outfit like this at a boutique store, although I know it's like supporting small shops and I completely understand that, but they're sometimes like $40 and Landon's gonna grow out of this in like two days or two weeks or like even a month. It's a lot of money to spend for a month. However, I don't mind spending $12.99. I know, I know, guys, I know, I know, but it's just cute and I really love it. Next up is also from Target from the Cat and Jack line little beers and i just love like the whole entire warm tones of yellows and oranges so this is a little romper again has a little patch in the center and then it also comes with a bib i love this i love it all so much i bought this for him probably gonna like tuck this into a pair of pants i just really liked the style of it and i really like the quality so it's this little like button down kind of almost looks like a cardigan material forest green and then i'll probably just put like i don't know what kind of pants on him or maybe i won't put any pants on him he's a baby and he's gonna look adorable with his little chubby legs 
pulling right on through all right the last part is more like halloween themed i got two or three items that are halloween themed so the first one being this little candy corn print romper it is like a whole little sweatsuit outfit and it's just adorable and it screams scream screams fall and it comes with a little hat that i tried on landon and doesn't fit because his head is so big <laughs> the cutest hat ever the cutest head ever but it's it's a bigger head this one might be my favorite one guys might just be my favorite one it says milk monster it has these little black and white striped pants and then it has like little green not green orange spikes that come off of the side <sighs> I honestly want this one for myself. And the last one. Tell me if you think this is pajamas or an actual outfit. I think it's pajamas by the way that like the pants are, but I'm gonna probably have them wear these out. Look at these little spooky, scary bottoms. We have bats, we have jack-o'-lanterns, we have happy little ghosts. And then it says Pika Boo. <laughs> So that is it for my baby clothing haul. Thanks for coming guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked any of them and I can find them on the website, I will link it in the description below. Question of the day, how many times is my battery going to die whilst filming this video? We will find out. Right now we're working on almost the second time I'm going to have to change my battery out. I'm going to move on now to a box that I actually already reviewed here on my channel. It is the FabFitFun Fall Box for 2020. I actually get sponsored by FabFitFun, so I do a dedicated video for them. So I do have that on my channel, and I definitely am going to go more in depth in that video than I will in this one. This video, I'm just going to do like an overview and a kind of like show and tell showcase version of the FabFitFun fall box. So if you guys want to see that video, it's right on my channel. If not, you missed that video. I did want to include it in my like monthly unboxing review haul roundup. So here we are. Fall 2020 FabFitFun box. This was the best FabFitFun box I have ever received. I think it had a value of 400, no, $340. I mean, almost $400. So let's open on up. You of course get your little brochure. Love this little like magazine. And then you also get like some coupons. But let's move on to the actual items inside. The first one being the Foxy Bay Curling Wand. I did already use this and it works amazing. It gives you really, really nice spiral curls. If you hold it for a long time, you get like super banana curls and you can run your fingers through it. But if you hold it just very quickly, you get like more of a beachy wave. So it kind of works for whatever style you are looking for. Next up, I got eight other reasons, and FabFitFun is a customizable box, so you can choose some of your items, and some of the items will remain a mystery. I did choose these. It's kind of like a marble effect barrette situation, and I really love them. It's from Kier for me this is the one that i like i think the most in this box other than that curling wand this curling wand alone by the way is 99 dollars, and the box itself is only 49 dollars 99 cents per quarter it is a seasonal box and i do have a coupon code to save ten dollars off of your first box so you can get your first box for 39 dollars and 99 cents and considering one of the items alone is 99 dollars completely pays for itself and you still have another like five six seven items to go for this is the item that I liked the most after that curling one. They are blue light glasses and I am a teacher and we're most likely gonna be teaching virtually. We still don't know and we're supposed to be starting in two weeks. We still don't know what we're doing for our academic school year, but I'm going to assume we're going to be doing some sort of variation a virtual and even if not I am on the computer a lot when I am teaching anyways because we're a digital school so I think these are important they're the blue light they kind of like take out all of the harmful rays from looking at your phone or looking at a computer or looking at a tablet or looking at anything digital so I got these and these are from Nectar moving along I got the Dr. Dennis Gross Alphabeta Serum Perfector I love facial serums they become some of my absolute favorite things to receive in boxes they're super, super pricey, so it's always really awesome to get inside of the box, and they work so, so well. Next up, I got the Laundress New York Crease and Release. This is the Classic Remove Wrinkle Spray, so you kind of just like spray this on a wrinkly clothing item. You're supposed to tug at it, and then it is not going to be wrinkled anymore. I haven't tried that one yet. I think it might be a little gimmicky, but we'll see. I'll try it on the future. Two or three more items left. Next up is the Height tranquility sleep mist so you're supposed to spray this before you go to sleep and it helps to like calm you down and kind of like put you in a good mood to get some really good rest 
This one I love, can't wait to use this to diffuse my water. It is from Mason Tops, it's a mason jar. So you have like your little, what is this called? Like covering that protects it and then you just have your whole entire mason jar and you just put your drink in here. I plan on doing like fall infused water. And the final item might be tied up there for one of my favorite items in this box. It is by Beauty Paper Golden Soper Food. It is antioxidant shower gel and it's in the scent pumpkin and Oregon and it smells so good. So this is what it looks like. Come on guys, you gotta, you gotta tell me this is perfect for the fall and it's a really huge size as well. So that is everything inside of the FabFitFun box for fall 2020. I apologize if you already saw that in the dedicated video, but again, I just wanted to add it in this collective haul. I do have one more box that I already previously reviewed here on my channel. It is another box that I have been sponsored for, so I do a dedicated video. I will save that one for a little bit. It is the decorated fall 2020 box so i'll save that one for just like a couple of clips later but now we're going to move on to boxycharm for august 2020 if you're unfamiliar with boxycharm it is one of the best makeup subscription services out there in the game in my personal opinion you get five or four full-size items every single month whether it is makeup or skincare or hair care whatever it may be a little bit of everything in between and it's relatively inexpensive i know that they have gone up i think when I started subscribing they were $19.99 per month but now I think they're $25 I mean at the end of the day you're getting your money's worth and typically the boxes have a value of anywhere between like $50 to $150 depending on what you are receiving inside your box so I personally think it is worth it and I also do have a coupon code for this one as well that I will put in the description the first thing that I'm getting for this month is from Morphe I got this a four-piece eye brush collection set I don't think I've ever used anything from Morphe before, so I'm pretty excited for that. And I have been doing my eyes a lot more lately. I've been doing makeup a lot more lately, and I feel like I'm getting a lot more use out of the makeup that I have. So that's really awesome for me. Here's my little card. It does tell you the value of all the items. So this is what I'm talking about. The item in here, there's an item in here that is a retail value of $105. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I'll find it in a minute. But then we also have an item that is valued at $36. $58, $12, and $16. This might be one of like the highest retail valued boxes that I've ever received from BoxyCharm. So yes. The next one is from Spongel French Vanilla. Oh, I love this. I only know about this brand through subscription services. I've gotten this in like a ton of different subscription boxes before, but it is like a pre- soaped sponge so yes it is a sponge but it's actually more than just a sponge it is also a body wash and a buffer it cleanses exfoliates hydrates and massages and it also has multi-use so if you just follow the care instructions on the back of the box you can use it multiple times this is what it looks like i've used these a bunch of times before and i really really love them it actually leaves your skin feeling super super silky so super happy to get that inside of this box next up is the qms medi cosmetics active glow tinted day cream this is the item that is a hundred five dollars it has a retail value of a hundred five dollars what even what i will be testing this out really excited to get that not sure what the whole gimmick and science is behind that but sign me up Next up, we're getting the Tristique, a matte for every mood. Look at these colors. This is the perfect little lip palette for transition from summer into fall. I love these colors for the fall time, these dark, dark colors. We're getting Nantucket Nude, Florence Fig, Barcelona, Bright Berry, Chili Red, Belize, don't know how to say that last one and Tuscan wine. So we're getting all of these lippies. I've actually used this brand before and I really like this brand a lot. If you're interested in like a swatch, I'll do that on my Instagram. But this is what one of the little lippies look like. Love it. And this is what it looks like inside. So I like these because you can use it to kind of like line your lips and then just color your lips in as well. All right, we're moving on to the last item. This might actually be my favorite item inside of the box so far. After I tried that $105 item, maybe I'll change my mind, but I just love a good lippy and I love a good dark lip for the fall time and I am so ready for the fall time right now. 
The last item that we are receiving is the Violet Voss Essentials number no. two. I actually got Essentials one in one of my previous BoxyCharm boxes, so maybe by the time I'm done subscribing to BoxyCharm, I'll have every single volume. This looks like they're going to be quite festival inspired colors. These are not necessarily colors that I would use. I mean, I most likely won't use any of these colors, but I will use these colors. So I will get use out of this palette. These are a little bright and bold for my personal liking, but this, like these nude browns, like lighter or darker nude colors, these are the colors that I use every single day and I love that shimmer. Ooh, I like it, very pigmented. Oh, so pretty with the shimmer. All right, I really like this. That was another great BoxyCharm box. If you guys are interested, I'll put more information in the description. I feel like I have to stretch my body out because I've been sitting like crisscross applesauce for so long now and my legs are really starting to hurt. Okay, let's talk about the last one, two, three, four, five boxes. I still have five more boxes. Let me know in the comments, would you like to see this in the future as one really large collective video? Or would you rather see me split these videos up into like two or three parts when I have so many boxes? We're going to move on now to the Vela box box. I believe that this is candle inspired and nothing screams cozy fall weather to me more than lighting a candle i don't even care what the scent of the candle is it could be a like winter scent or it could be a summer scent if i light a candle it just automatically reminds me of cozy fall weather so inside of this box look how cute this box is inside it says honey your soul is golden and we are getting one two little bags and then we're also getting simply mints in peppermint i guess this is like a little added extra but let's talk about the actual candles. So we're getting two candles. This one looks a little bit smaller and this one looks a little bit larger. I love the packaging canvas bags that they have with this. So the first one is Roma Hemp Wick Candle. It's in the scent Radiant, which is lemongrass, eucalyptus, and lemon, and is all plant-based, made in Saratoga, Florida. I really like the design of this. It's a really pretty design very simplistic very minimal let's give it a little sniff test that smells like summer i really wish they had like smell o vision at this point because that smells so decadent and so good oh my gosh that smells amazing I really like that scent a lot so this is the smaller one let's go to the larger sized bag the larger sized bag has a candle that is stuck <laughs> which is a good thing it means they're packaging it really really nicely this is also from aroma and is in the scent coast driftwood juniper and oud however you pronounce that this is also plant-based and made in saratoga florida so this one is eight ounces and the other one i believe is four ounces so this one is double the size let's give this one a little sniff test I like this one more. This one smells amazing, but I actually like this one more. It has more of like a creamier scent to it, if that makes any sense. And it is also a one wick candle. So those are the two candles that I got. And it says, what does that mean? It says, you're stinking. You're stinking. <laughs> stinking smelling good, that's what you are. So here are the two candles that we're getting inside of the Vela box box. You're striking you're striking not you're stinking learn how to read allison it says you're striking and my thank you that was that was very kind of you fellow boxes that was so sweet next up love goodly i actually reviewed love goodly for the first time in july's unboxing review haul and they very kindly sent me a second box which makes me really really happy it says introducing you and oil we loved it so much we curated it for you so i think all the items inside of this box are from you and oil maybe they like partnered up with them for this box or maybe it is their own brand it looks like inside of the august september 2020 box this is a bi-monthly box we're getting items valued at eight dollars 
$22, $42.35. It says a value of $107 plus dollars. So let's jump right on into it. And I also have a coupon code they mentioned right over there if you are interested. The first thing is the U and Oil Botox and Regeneration Face Masks love face masks and look at how cute this packaging is this packaging is adorable so simplistic and so so beautiful so we're getting one or two masks in here i believe it's just one mask in here but yes we are getting a mask and then we're getting three different boxes of you and oil the first one is eight you and oil beauty shot with collagen so let's see how to use this pour one drop into your face skincare product before use i love these products so this is more of like a serum that you will drop into like your moisturizer and you use it on your face so nice it looks a little tiny but let me tell you this tiny little bottle will go such a long way i use something similar to this not this exact brand but i do use like a serum that i mix in to my moisturizer i use it every single morning and i have to tell you i've seen so many positive benefits with my skin ever since i tried that so i'm really excited to use this one with collagen the next one is you and oil ac and fig and ma acai fig marula oil antioxidants complex so i think that this is another serum this is what it looks like and then i'll read like the instructions on how to use it it says use three to four drops on a freshly cleansed skin alone or before you moisturize so i'm assuming you would use a face mask allow it to dry Cleanse your skin with this and then moisturize with this. And the final item is you and oil food shot. So this is a food supplement. I've never used this before. I've never used food supplements before, but I hear nothing but great things, especially considering that it is completely plant-based and vegan. So it says recommended dose for adults is seven to 10 drops once a day, sustainable for fruits, berries, jams, and honey. Ooh, it's so pretty it's like super fall i know it's not meant for the fall but look at how beautiful that packaging is that is a beautiful beautiful bottle oh i'm like really excited i have to tell you this box is completely completely different from the box that i received for june july and i really like that because it's kind of like switching it up here and there it's not like you're getting the same old items over and over and over again with this company it looks like each bi-monthly box is completely curated a different way I interrupt this unboxing to bring you back to 2015, maybe 2016 YouTube era. We're gonna do a Bath and Bodies candle haul. Like how prime YouTube nostalgia is a Bath and Body Works haul. It is the epitome of what YouTube used to be and I miss that so, so much. I wasn't going to include this, but I did just shop at Bath & Body Works and I got like a ton of different candles for the season and I was like, yo, I have to include this in this video because this brings me back to where I started here on YouTube. So we're just going to do a quick little overview of the candles that I received. Are you not getting old school YouTube vibes from this? If you are not, I don't know what to tell you because I sure am. This one isn't fall inspired, but it just smells so good. It is the strawberry pound cake. <sighs> it smells like you have been baking in your house for days, not even hours, but full blown days. It smells so good. I was totally influenced to buy this by the worker at Bath and Body Works. I told her I wanted all fall candles and she said, you have to smell this one. You're going to love it. I smelt it. I loved it. I bought it. There we go. Super simple. I like something. I get it. And I really like the design of these candles. If you look, it's just kind of like very simplistic and then the actual candle matches the outside of the container so i got that one and then i got the salted butterscotch i was definitely looking for some oh my god it smells so good i was looking some for that with like yellow and white and orange and the like green just so they couldn't match for all of my fall decor this one is the pumpkin apple it's so pretty i really wish you guys could smell these candles Oh, they smell so good. This one smells like an orchard, like you are going to an orchard to do apple picking. Orchard, 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 orchard. You're going to an apple orchard to apple pick, to pick apples. Let's move on. The next one is leaves, which smells so good. It smells so good. 
might be one of my favorites i have to tell you i think that this one is my favorite and i know it's not like specific to the season that we're going to be in but it smells amazing this one is leaves please focus for me camera it's leaves and it's just a brown and will match the decor perfectly and the final one save the very best for last is the pumpkin vanilla cream <sighs> smells like a pumpkin spice latte so this is what it looks like i really don't think my camera is focusing at all which is a problem but there we go and then i also have another one that i found in the basement that i just wanted to share with you i found this in the basement it is called farmer's market i got it last year i never used it plan on using it this year it is from yankee candle i personally am a yankees candle girl i think that they burn much slower than bath and body works just throwing that out there i think you get more of a bang for your buck at yankees candles but I just could not help myself with this white barn bath and body works candle set this year but this one is farmer's market and if they do still have that scent I want to include it in this video because it is probably one of the best scents I have ever smelt in my entire life so this one is from Yankee Candle and the rest of them were from Bath and Body Works one two three boxes left two of them are lifestyle boxes so i'm going to move on to this box which is a food inspired box because i want to switch things up just a little bit this is the try my snacks box i love the packaging so cute i love all like little snacks in here i actually found out about this box through my cousin melissa if you guys aren't familiar my cousin melissa has a youtube channel as well and i will link her channel in the description below it is either melissa the cheap chick or the cheap chick Melissa if you guys like unboxings and reviews or anything of that nature you probably already know her because that is what her channel is all about but in case you guys don't know her definitely check her out she's amazing she does such a good job at what she does like I am hooked anytime I watch her channel so again I will link her in the description below she is the one who kind of like turned me on to this box I reached out to the company and they did send me a box so thank you Melissa and thank you try my snacks this is from Mexico so the whole basis of this box is they're going to be sending you snacks from a specific place in the world not just the country like in the world so this box is all based off of Mexico and <laughs> Is this not the most on brand box for my channel? Like, if you know, you know. I feel like I built my channel, <laughs> my channel's snack testing, taste testing videos off of this specific snack. Do you know what I'm going to mention? I'm sure you already do. The Takis. Guys, this is so on brand for me right now. Takis. Again, if you know, you know. If you don't, I will link my taste testing snacks video in the description below i am no stranger to the takis so this is the first thing that we were seeing this is a very heavy heavy bag there are like so many takis in here so we're getting takis we're also getting the churimas con limoncito <laughs> not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but this would be like such a fun box to do with your kids or to do with like nieces and nephews or with a significant other just to like taste test all of this stuff out we're also getting a strawberry banana drink you don't think of like liquidy type drinks to be strawberry banana i typically think of like creamier drinks to be a strawberry banana but this is strawberry banana nectar there are so many so many snacks in here i'm not gonna test like all of them out obviously but we are getting the boo boo loo boo this looks like a chocolate covered strawberry marshmallow i could be wrong about that but yeah next up is the lucas chamoy i have no clue what this stuff is it's just so fun i love this i love this so much right now maybe i'll do a separate video where i test a bunch of these out next up we're getting this is not something i'm going to like juicy chew it looks like a jello consistency type snack and i am not here for that consistency next up we're getting the cranky and new taste cornflakes with chocolate artificially flavored coating yeah you know what you're gonna do what you gonna do artificial is the new official <laughs> all right moving right along we're getting the lucas this looks like a name brand that they have a bunch because it looks like a lot of the items inside this box are by Lucas. But this is another snack that we are receiving. We're also receiving, oh, this looks good. The Salsa Jetty. Oh, like spaghetti, but Salsa Getty. So salsa flavored spaghetti. 
Getty licorice ropes, maybe? I don't know, no clue. We're getting this, which reminds me, it feels like it could be a cookie inside of here. Let's find out. Let's open it up and find out together. Oh, it does. That looks like a little like chocolate and vanilla cookie, like an inside out Oreo. All right. We're getting like little chiclets. These look like little chiclets. My camera is definitely not going to focus on that one. They're like little chiclets. Do you see that? We're getting a bunch of those in there. We're also getting this. This looks weird. This looks like a clown. I don't love clowns, guys. I don't love clowns. This is what it looks like, and this is what it is. Not necessarily matches up to that, but still looks like so much fun and definitely something a child would love. <gasps> Look at that. This is like that is it coconut type snack it's like that packed coconut sugar snack i have friends who are obsessed with this so yeah we're just getting a ton of different snacks in here i'm not going to show you every single one because there are so so many but i hope like what i showed you gives you a little bit of insight on what the brand is all about we're getting these snacks i'll do like two or three more we're getting oh this looks like a a yogurt duvalian bay sabor strawberry and vanilla flavored candy Look at that. And if you want to watch a video where somebody taste tests all of these snacks, definitely check out my cousin Melissa because she actually sits there and taste tests every single one of the snacks out. I give her so much credit. She does such a good job at what she does. And then we're just getting a couple of repeats on the bottom. Some more of like that spaghetti, another one of these little bombasso things, whatever that is. And yeah, just a ton of different snacks to try out from that specific country. They are definitely not messing around with the quantity nor the quality. You are getting a ton of snacks in here like a ton of snacks and they all look so 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 good i think i overcommitted in this video is this too much for one video you can be honest with me because i want to know for future reference but i definitely think i overcommitted just a, a slight bit we have two boxes left one is a home decor box a huge huge box this is a decorated this is another one of the boxes that i have already reviewed here on my channel but i wanted to include in this collective haul this is a home decor subscription service the best of the best so the first thing that we received is this little postcard it says pumpkin spice latte and it gives you all the directions on how to make a pumpkin spice latte on the back it says double double toil and trouble mary kate and ashley anyone anyone at all what i usually do with these postcards is i will frame them and then i will put them on our shelving unit we are also getting probably my favorite item in the box look at this it's a little framed wooden sign like super chip and joanna gainsey and it says falling leaves harvest breeze bonfire nights hot chocolate mornings cuddles and snuggles grateful hearts autumn skies pumpkin pies and everything nice our kitchen is like gray white and black and i think for fall i'm gonna do like a gray white and black theme my whole entire house is kind of like warm tones and yellows and oranges when i decorate for fall but i think in the kitchen i'm gonna look for that is it called like buffalo plaid i'm gonna look for some like black and white buffalo plaid pumpkins i'm gonna put this up and just look for some like ceramic and some like porcelain pumpkins that are black and white and i think that this is just gonna go so perfect in that room next up we are getting a table runner that will also go over my island inside of our kitchen it is a very nice canvas super long great quality foliage inspired table runner and i'll just give you a little close-up right there of the actual design it is so beautiful and the quality is so so nice this subscription service is definitely in my top five favorite subscription services of ever we're also getting this really cute piece that you could put right on top of that table runner it's a little circle wire frame and then it has all these places to put candles whether you're doing real candles or you're doing fake candles and i think this would look really cute if you put this on the table runner and then do like a fall boutique or fall like boutique where is my head right now a fall floral arrangement right in the center like a bouquet not a boutique a bouquet of flowers but just of course remember if you're doing that try to use fake candles because we don't want anything lighting on fire but that is the next item this item i love so hard it is a little wicker 
vase so you can either like plop this down it is flat on the bottom you can plop this down and use it as an actual vase and put whatever you want inside or it does have a little leather strap that you can hang on the wall i'm going to link my deco created video in the description i'll put it right underneath this informational video portion of the description where i talk about deco created and inside of that video i do a whole house tour of all the items that i received in past deco create boxes and how i use them to style rooms in my house i really wanted to showcase in that video how all these pieces are just so timeless and how you can use them like time and time and time again and season and season and season again so this is the next item there are a couple of items left the next one being this little sign that says our happy place which is so cute i love this i'm not quite sure where i'm gonna put this yet but i'm gonna find a really nice place for it in our house it says our happy place and it's just so cute we're also getting two pumpkins these are porcelain pumpkins i mentioned this in the video if you look closely they kind of look like they're felty but if you do like this you can tell that they're like super hard really great quality so i think it's like porcelain inside of here and then it's just wrapped in felt and this is more of like a teal pumpkin color and then we're getting a mini classic orange pumpkin to go along with it and the final item inside of the deco created box for fall 2020 is this really nice basket on one side it is plain so if you just like more of that plain look you can of course keep it this way and on the other side it has something more specific to the season it says harvest moon market handcrafted and hand casted so if you don't like that specific one it is interchangeable and they also have this one that says autumn harvest open daily farm fresh and you just pop it right off and put the other one right on so i love this one specifically because i'm going to be using it in my living room to decorate one of the little corners i want to put like little haystacks and then i'm going to put this one right on there and put this on top of the haystack and add like mums and pumpkins and it's going to be our little like farm fresh area in our house so that is everything inside of the deco created fall 2020 box of stinking cess top five favorite subscription services out there maybe even like top three yes definitely top three for me because i'm such like a homebody and i love decorating my house and just like anything home decor related this subscription service does it all and last but definitely definitely not least the final box that i will be reviewing in this video is the woman's collective box honestly pause give yourself a pat on the back if you made it through this entire video if you made it through this entire video you my friend are the real mvp like give yourself all the pats on the back right now give yourself a round of applause you are it you are it <laughs> the final box like i just mentioned is the woman's collective box i've never heard of this box before i saw somebody review it on their channel michelle jane michelle jane i believe is her name i will link her channel in the description below she is known for doing like monthly unboxing reviews as well i really really love her channel and i saw this box on her channel so i reached out to the company and they sent me a box so thank you to michelle and thank you to woman's collective box look at this it's beautiful i love that design this i believe is a quarterly subscription service as well they send you a box every single season and this is the box for summer they did mention that they'll be sending me one for the fall so stay tuned for that i'm very excited because guys all things fall it says allison thank you for your support i hope you love our summer box welcome to the woman's collective sisterhood love rochelle and it has a bunch of beautiful women on the bottom and here is the summer 2020 box pamphlet which i will not be looking at right now because i don't want to be spoiled Ooh, i'm seeing something that's already catching my eye the first thing that i'm seeing is by mimi in august look at those earrings oh, i hope my camera will focus on this they're like little rainbow earrings Let's see if i can get that to focus do you see that little simplistic rainbow earrings i love that i love that so much these are so cute okay let's move on because i can get very emotional about those they're so so cute next thing is by soon it is pomegranate hydrogel eye patch with collagen really love the aesthetic of this packaging i love all like the little brush strokes super super pretty and we're getting a set of eye patches what is this i love this rainbow look i'm pretty sure there's a name that goes along with this specific rainbow I'm not 100% sure what it is called, but I love that look. It is by Holly Holly. 
and this is a straw set a steelless stain straw set stainless steel straw set talking for like almost two hours straight <laughs> i know this video might only be like an hour long not only but that means i probably have been filming for like close to two hours and talking for close to two hours and i just lose train of thought at the end of it all right so there's something else in here let's pull it all out i just love this packaging so much i'm keeping this canvas bag not even to like keep the straws in just to keep like other things in and package with me and take with me because it's so cute something's stuck in here though all right so this is just how to like take care of these straws look at this so we're getting a little straw set you can put this in over here and then we're also getting the little cleaner to kind of like brush it through so cute little straw set and that is so fitting for the current state of the world that we are in right now next up is the better farm company it is a little canvas mesh bag this is perfect if you're going to like a farmer's market just to throw all of your fresh veggies and fruits in here it's so cute and it's really nice quality as well a couple more items left i think two or three more items this is a handcrafted in the usa i think this is like a tea towel so this is something that you would throw i personally put my tea towels over the stove but i love the design and it's very soft tell me if you guys are like me or if you're normal <laughs> sorry for throwing that out there but i don't use tea towels they're more just for decor i have a separate set of just like cotton based ones or towel based ones that i use to actually like soak up spills but the actual tea towels like this designed one i won't use they're just up there for decor and this one is way way too pretty to use we are getting something that says you are designed for amazing things it looks like a little sticker that you would throw like on your laptop or on your water bottle whatever it may be two things left we're getting something smells so good in this box and i think it is this right here this is the lux shower shower steamer peppermint rosemary and lemon 100 percent pure essential oil aromatherapy transform your shower into a one-of-a-kind aromatherapy spa experience that will leave you feeling refreshed and reset we handcraft each shower steamer with 100 percent pure essential oils so breathe it in deep your body mind and soul will thank you later just throw this in when you're going into a shower it will get nice and steamy and just a few drops of water on your shower steamer is all that you need to activate your aromatherapy experience love that look at this and it does smell so good it smells very very spa like let's take it on out oh so you keep it in like this little satchel right there and you can reuse this over and over and over and over again not sure if my camera focused on the actual packaging but i'm going to do it again just to show you because the packaging is really really cute there we go all right, and the final item in this box and in this video, a hallelujah, I've made it through, you guys made it through, is the Woman Collective subscription box, <laughs> subscription box, sustainable beach blanket hand loomed for the Woman's Collective box. So this is what it looks like before I take it out of its packaging. Now let's open it up and share what it looks like. Make a difference with every purchase we donate to sea life and coral reef preservation. I love that. And I like this color a lot. I'm actually going to the beach on Sunday, which is tomorrow with Landon. So this will be making an appearance there. Look at this. And it's so soft. And it's that material. I don't know what it's called, but like sand resistant. So this is the kind of material that if it gets wet, it kind of just coats right off. And if it gets sandy, you just do like one of those things and the sand doesn't get like stuck inside of it. I can tell right away just by feeling it. It's like sand resistant. And that is it. And it has like little tassels on the bottom and little fringe. I love this. I'm gonna take such a cute picture with Landon on this when we go to the beach tomorrow. That is it guys, I am exhausted. I feel like I'm a basket case upstairs right now from just talking so, so much. I'm gonna go lay down for like 20 minutes before I start editing this video, but that is it. That is everything inside all 10, 12, 20 of these boxes that I reviewed today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really wish I had a clock right over here that would share the time so you could see like where I was when I started this video and where we are now I feel like it's getting dark out no I'm just kidding it's not getting dark out it's like what 12 o'clock when I started filming this video and I think it's like let's get my phone it is it was 12 o'clock when I started and it is 1 so it's been almost two hours of talking to a camera <laughs>
I'm losing my mind <laughs> but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it I really like all jokes aside I love filming this video I love filming this series I really enjoy this video and I really enjoy filming them month after month after month so I hope that you guys do as well thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all your support and thank you just for your love and commitment to my channel it means the absolute world to me I hope that you're having a guys my camera's about to die perfect timing perfect perfect timing but yes I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys!